is Kylie Overson. I am a third year law student from North Dakota and I also serve in the State House of Representatives in North Dakota. So I was involved with student government in my undergrad institution, also UND where I'm at for law school, and advocated on higher education policies, got to know local legislators throughout that process, and was asked if I would consider running for the State House. And you know, I first laughed at the idea, but then took it seriously and thought it was a really great opportunity. So during my first year at law school, actually, it was the first year that ACS was formed in our, in our school, or the first time the chapter existed. Um, and I was good friends with the individual who formed the chapter, so he told me about it. Um, he obviously knew of my political leanings and knew that I'd be interested in the issues that ACS would be talking about. So I got involved as much as I could the first year, um, was involved with a few other organizations kind of filling out the scene. Um, but then took on an officer role in my second year and am you know, very interested in seeing the organization continue to grow and create more diverse conversation at our school. I think well, one of the events I was involved with was we, we had a conversation um, between a law student and a professor about Measure 1 in North Dakota, which was a personhood ballot measure. So it would have created a constitutional amendment um, defining personhood as including pre-birth. Um, and that would have had very dangerous implications across across life in our state. So we had a conversation and, and a great turnout and really got to share with the campus some of our legal concerns about this type of measure and what it would mean for the state. And I, you know, I was proud that ACS was leading the way in that conversation on our campus. Um, if you're coming to law school, it's very likely that you're going to have political opinions one way or the other. And I, I think those who, who have those opinions don't often know if they haven't already been involved in politics, might not know how to get involved at any level. I think ACS opens a lot of doors to very unique areas of law and, and policy discussions, and that's kind of your first foot in the door if you're involved in those conversations and learning more about what's happening on your campus, your state, and the country, and you get to learn about these really important issues. Um, you also are introduced to local community leaders, state and national leaders, um, the opportunity to come to a convention like this as a law student is really, really wonderful. Um, so if you have any inkling of getting involved with politics or, or advocacy on any issues, ACS is a great door to, to that world. Yeah, so we, North Dakota doesn't actually have a lawyer chapter right now, so that would be the first step to see if there's enough interest in the state to create a lawyer chapter. Um, even if there ends up not you know, having that interest in the state, I would certainly want to stay involved by attending conventions and becoming more involved in the policy discussions that ACS has, um, learning more about opportunities to get involved with committees or whatever there is um, for lawyers. Um, I think there's a lot of really unique opportunities to get involved, um, and I, you know, I look, I look forward to that. I think it will provide really great opportunities and networking avenues. Um, so selfishly, I, I, you know, take advantage of that. I just the convention generally, I would encourage students who haven't attended or lawyers who haven't attended to really think seriously about it. Um, the topics that we cover are, are timely and important. And I think now that we're coming to the final day, um, we're really seeing how all of the things that we're talking about, be it racism, um, inequality in the workplace, economic injustice, how they're all, all connected and that there is policy solutions that we as attorneys and judges ought to be thinking about and advocating.